For a long time now, you've been putting PDF files on Corel Draw the wrong way. Hi, I'm DK Darren, and today I'm going to show you how to import PDF files on Corel Draw the right way. Come with me. When trying to import PDF files on Corel Draw, what the mistake we normally do is to drag and drop, and then most times you leave it on text. And what, what that does is that when you click on select pages and you import from page one to down to the end of the page, you see that when you import it, everything appears on top each other, basically. Everything appears on top each other and is scattered. So if I should ungroup all of this, if I should ungroup all of this, you'd see that I have several files on top each other overlaid. Are you saying? So if I try to scatter each of them, you see that, mind you, this is the entire PDF. This is how the PDF should look like, right? But when you import, you see that they are all scattered. So how do you do this the right way? So how do you do it the right way? When you drag and drop, make sure you click on curves. Make sure you select the pages. Select page one, just one after the other, you have to be patient. So you use, you select page one and you click on okay, you see that it's just that particular page that imports. You see that I have that, and if I should ungroup, if I should ungroup all, you see that I can easily just take out each of these. You can see that I can take this out, I can take this out, and I can take this out. I can even take out some of the backgrounds and all that. You see? But when you try to do it the wrong way, you see that then you could always open another page. Do the same thing for page two, page two, and you have it imported. It's as simple as that. Hope you learned something new today. Drop a thank you in the comment section. Like, share, and stay tuned for more updates from DK Darian. Peace.